Raleigh News and Observer, the International Space Station has you loud and clear. When did you know that you wanted to be an astronaut and what's your kind of earliest um, memory of, of wanting to be that when you grew up? I can't remember the exact moment when it happened and that's only because I don't really remember a time when I didn't want to be an astronaut. My family took a, a road trip down to Florida from North Carolina and we visited the Kennedy Space Center and I think that's when a lot of my dreams came into focus because I then found a place and a way to channel that interest that I had found. Was there anything in particular about your education that um, kind of kind of kept you um, working towards that goal? Most kids probably dream of becoming an astronaut. I was just the one that never grew out of it. I think the most important thing was that no one discouraged me. No one told me that I had a crazy dream. No one told me I couldn't do it. And so that dream just kept right on growing and growing. I think having amazing educational opportunities such as the North Carolina School of Science and Math, which allows you to focus in areas, technical areas that in my case were an interest of mine, that really helped because it was a goal that I could pursue in the short term while in the back of my mind thinking about the long-term goal of becoming an astronaut. You are in the process of making history um, up in space and I was hoping that you could kind of describe what your first spacewalk um, was like, uh, particularly in the context of this being the 50th anniversary um, of the Apollo 11. To be able to do something like a spacewalk is not only an incredibly meaningful uh, personal goal, but it's also wonderful because professionally I'm able to contribute to this program to keep the space station running. The actual experience of going out the door is almost indescribable. To, to see the Earth below you in those few moments when we could take a break from our six and a half hours of working on the space station to appreciate the environment around us were very special. Um, I think that the perspective that you gain on a spacewalk is a little bit different than what we see just looking out the window from here on station and it's because you're actually immersed in the environment around you and when you look down on the earth there's you know one less you're one less step removed than when you're inside looking through a window and that leads you to think like you mentioned of how much more amazing it would be to walk on another celestial body and to have your view of the earth encompass the entire earth um, to have the view such as the amazing photograph known as moon uh, earth rise and and to recognize that all of humanity um, clings to, to our planet together as one. And just sort of um, thinking about all those on such a large scale and having the privilege to do that while you're contributing to this program, um, it was an amazing honor.